Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on solving linear and quadratic simultaneous equations on a Casio FX CG50. We've got two sets of linear simultaneous equations to solve in this video and then a question with a linear and a quadratic simultaneous equation. If we take a look at the first one there, 1a, we've got 4x plus 6y equals 22 and 3x minus 7y equals negative 41. From the main menu, we're going to use the equation mode for parts A and B in question one. So for the linear simultaneous equations. So select equation, and then from the menu here, it's F1 simultaneous. And we've got two unknowns in the first case here, X and Y. Now, if you notice the equation at the top, essentially we've got AX plus BY equals C. I think the little subscript n there might refer to it being a number it's going to be a value it's going to be the coefficient the number in front of the terms that you've got there so a is the number in front of the x term b is the number in front of the y term and c is just the number on its own the number term and we're going to input them into the calculator here so first row first column is the number in front of the x term in the first equation which is four so it's four x and then 6y and then equals 22 so 22 is in the last column there and then the second row we've got the second equation 3x remember you're just inputting the numbers minus 7y equals negative 41 so you're just pressing execute after you input each of these values just double check before you're ready to go and then execute one last time to solve and here you can see our solutions x equals negative 2 and y equals 5. So let's get ready to solve part b the second set of linear simultaneous equations press f1 to repeat quickest way press f3 to clear and we've cleared out the values there now there's two things to note about part b that are different firstly we've got different letters representing the variables we've got a and b this time now you need to be fairly flexible when it comes to variables and using the calculator to solve this the calculator uses x and y as its variables now if we've got a and b in this case what we need to do is to just substitute those in so rather than have a we're going to have x so substitutes in x for a and we'll substitute in y for b and What's to make it slightly more confusing is that the A and B's that the calculator is referring to, they're still the numbers that are in front of the A and B terms in the equation. So hopefully that makes sense. We just need to think that the little A's, B's and C's on the calculator are just going to be numbers. Uh, so we only want the numbers from the equations. Now the second thing to note is that it's not quite in the right format yet to input into the calculator. We need it so that both the variables are on one side of the equal sign and then we've just got a number on the other side. So let's rearrange the first one here. Simplest way is to subtract 6a from both sides that we have minus 6a plus 2b equals 19 and that's how we're going to input it into the calculator. So first row, first column is going to be the number in front of the a term. Remember a, x is representing a so that's negative 6 plus 2b and that then equals 19 and then the second one here simplest rearrangement there is to add 12b to both sides so we've got a plus 12b equals 3 so it's one lot of a plus 12b equals 3 quickly double check everything's okay and press execute and here we have the solution here x is negative 3 and y is 0.5 or 1 half. Okay, now we're going to go into a different location to solve the linear and quadratic simultaneous equation here. We're actually going to do that in run matrix, which is the primary mode. So menu and then one for run matrix. Now, like the previous one there, 1b, there is a little bit of non-calculator work that we do need to do before we input this into the calculator. The calculator is very useful of course but it can't necessarily do everything for you so you do need to just prepare a little bit for this. 
Now we've got x plus y equals seven, which is the linear simultaneous equation. And then the quadratic equation that we've got there is y equals x squared minus 11x minus 17. Now, what we need to do before we input it into the calculator is make a substitution. And we're going to make a substitution for y. Now, what I can do with the first equation is rearrange that so that we've got y equals. So equation one, we're going to rearrange to y equals seven minus x. Hopefully you can see what's happened there. Subtract x from both sides. Now, if y equals seven minus x, what we're going to do is to substitute the y in the second equation, the quadratic equation, for seven minus x. And that's how we're going to write it into the calculator. Now, the function that we're going to use to help us out with this is solve n. You might have seen this in some previous videos. So if you go to option and then F4 for calc, and then you can see here F5 is solve n, and it should open a set of brackets, parentheses there. Now we're going to input our equation with the substitution made there. So it's seven minus X. Uh, now we're going to need an equals and to access that you can see here it's above the decimal point and it's a shift feature. So it's shift and then that button and we've got an equals and then we want the quadratic here X squared minus 11 X minus 17. And we'll close the brackets there and then press execute. Now we get a little warning here just to say that more solutions may exist. So for example, it might be that there could be complex solutions, etc. cetera. Uh, but this is actually going to just give us all the solutions we need. So just press exit here. Here we have the two values. Now the two values that we have here are our solutions for X. We're going to get two sets of solutions here. So these are both X values, X equals minus two, negative two and X equals 12. So we've got a two X values. What we want to find is the two corresponding Y values. And that should be fairly straightforward. It's just a case of substituting them back into one of the original equations. Certainly the linear equation is probably the most straightforward at this point. So for example, we could do that manually. So we could say, well, if X is negative two, negative two plus something plus Y equals seven, while well, Y must be nine for that to be true. So it's negative two and nine are our X and Y values together. Um, now I'm just going to show you how you can just use the calculator to do this with the second example that I am sure that you can do this manually or mentally, um, but I'm just going to show you how the calculator can do this just in case you've maybe got bigger figures or maybe you're tired. You might want to use the calculator to do this. So let's just use solve N one more time, solve N, and then well, we'll use the second value of X, which is 12 plus, and then I'm going to, well, I'm going to just use X because the calculator uses X to solve more readily. So even though I'm looking for Y, again, remember you've got to be flexible with your variables here. I'm looking for Y, but I'm gonna use X as the unknown. 12 plus X substituting for Y equals seven. And I'll close the brackets there. Exit from the warning there. And then here we have the Y value negative five, negative five. So 12 and negative five go together as well. X equals 12, Y equals negative five. So there we go. How we can use the calculator to solve linear and quadratic simultaneous equations. It makes the process very simple. You just have to be flexible with uh, the variables that you use. And remember that the calculator fo focuses on solving X first uh, and X and Y perhaps in the simultaneous equation mode. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos, but that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time on The Calculator Guide.